Some cities are iconic, some unique, some quaint, and some just there. This week we're in Burnaby, where a new mayor says he wants BC's third biggest community to grow out of its suburb reputation. When you're in the shadow of the region's largest city, it can be hard to form your own identity. Now Burnaby continues to grow, these days around transit-oriented developments. The problem is those developments don't want people to know they're in Burnaby. People will begin moving into the first tower at the amazing Brentwood later this year. A giant mixed-use development that will rival Metro Town when finished. And only once on the website does it say the word Burnaby mostly opting to use Vancouver or Metro Vancouver instead. Was that a conscious choice? Um, no, I think we, it depends on the audience. I think um, when you're talking to an international audience, um, it's, we've talked about Metro Vancouver because that's what's known. The VP of development for the company behind the amazing Brentwood says he's actually a huge fan of Burnaby. Burnaby has become a, you know, a very um, desirable place to live. They've done a fantastic job of kind of um, planning sustainable growth, so uh, that strategy of densifying town centers, which at the same time protect single-family neighborhoods and parks and agriculture and industrial, has, has really resulted in a really livable community. But the new mayor isn't thrilled about the lack of online marketing. That's certainly something I will be addressing with the developers, is that, you know, you're, 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 you are doing very well in the city of Burnaby and you should certainly recognize the city of Burnaby and, and all your materials. He says for too long Burnaby has been content to be in Vancouver's shadow. I think we have been very reluctant um, to, to promote ourselves as a city uh, as much as we should have and we're certainly going to change that narrative in the future and we're going to start boasting that Burnaby is a great city. It might sound a little like a grandstanding mayor but Burnaby's tourism agency says the lack of a strong brand poses real challenges. When we're on a global stage and we try to say, hey, welcome to Burnaby, people haven't heard of it. Even within the own, our own country, quite often people will ask me, how far is the flight from Vancouver to Burnaby? Peter says Tourism Burnaby will be rebranding, highlighting 48-hour mini-tours and Instagrammable opportunities. But there's only so much they can do. So right now, what is Burnaby's brand? Burnaby's brand really is based around three things, sports, shopping, and the tech sector. Does that pop enough for the, the average person to really form a sense of identity? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think a lot of people are going to, you know, discover Burnaby and say, you know what, let's, get, let's cancel the trip to Disneyland. I'm going to take my family to Burnaby for a week this year. But does Burnaby even need a shiny new rebrand? After all, even when all these towers are done, the vast majority of people will continue to live in these traditional single-family neighborhoods where there's plenty of community centers, nice parks, and low property taxes. It may not be amazing, but for most, it's certainly ideal. Justin McRoy, CBC News, Burnaby.